Hi everyone and welcome back to another Bork No Game video. Today's video is AK2 Stamina Optimization for April 12th. That's going to be Clan Battle appearing and not to mention the normal quest drops are going to be doubled. Thank you to Small Spruce for covering this information. Credits go to him. He's on the main court if you're wondering. And let's go ahead and cover this Stamina Maximization Method for 12th. Now when it comes to this information, the suggestion is to be at level 88 cap. If you are not at level 88, don't sweat it. You pretty much just get less Stamina. The goal is to have 999 stamina by the end of all of this, right? All right, so pretty much one of the first things that we got to cover are why is it level 88? Because you want to be max leveled for pretty much your guild house furniture and you want all three dungeon stamina statues. So what am I pretty much referencing right here? So if you go into the guild house, you pretty much have like the statues that give you stamina. That's the point that I'm pretty much trying to cover here. So this is the snack table that gives stamina. This is the sheer cliffs, very hard mode. This is going to be deep root fruit. This is hard mode. And then we have the cloudwood top or meat that comes from normal mode, right? So all these things put together will give you 312 stamina. Note here that there is going to be stamina that pretty much goes into your presence box only after you hit the max stamina limit. So you guys are probably wondering, Bork, what is the max stamina limit that you can acquire? So let's go ahead and go back to the home page and talk about a few things. You can have up to 999 stamina on your bar right here. That is the max amount of stamina possible. So knowing that we have 999 stamina that is max right there, you will be able to put your extra stamina within the presence box, all right? So what are the stamina items that we pretty much want to put in our presence box? It's gonna be leaving a like to your guildmate, leveling up, and your guild house. So pretty much that 312 stamina, it will be going into this presence box that we are showing right now. Not to mention there's unboxable stamina, so stamina that you instantly get, which is pretty much doing jewel refreshes, daily stamina quests. By the way, these daily stamina quests, they can go into that box as well. Just note that everything that goes into this presence box, it pretty much has a 24 hour lifespan. So when you pretty much claim it, make sure to claim it within the next 24 hours. And by the way, stamina refresh with jewels. This is pretty much the way it works. You get 120 stamina for 40 jewels upon the first three refreshes. All right, go ahead and cover the dates and what we need to do. So on April 9th, you can pretty much skip this if you don't really care, but this is just a min max stamina. You're pretty much going to claim your stamina at 11. UTC 11 p.m. or 12:59 UTC. Pretty much for me, that's going to be 4 a.m. PST or 5 a.m. PST. That's the times I want to claim because 6 a.m. PST is going to be reset for me. Time converters down below, all that stuff. April 10th. Let's go ahead and keep this simple. All right. So you can spend stamina. You can do whatever you need to do. The important part is here. The claims, all right? Before reset, before we go into April 11th, pretty much we're going to be claiming the three refreshes. So we're gonna do three jewel refreshes for that day. So we're gonna have more stamina, right? And then we're also going to have the 200 daily stamina that we're also going to be claiming because we get that every single day. So you're gonna get 360 stamina from the jewel refreshes. And then you're also going to get the 200 stamina from the quest modes, right? And then we're going to have 70 to 79 natural stamina. If you put all of this together, you're going to be left with pretty much 630 to 639 stamina for the end of the day on April 10th at 5 a.m. or 4 a.m. PST, whenever you decide to do all this stuff, all right? You can still spend stamina so long as you have the end goal of having 630 to 639 stamina by the end of the day on April 10th. That is the main goal of April 10th, okay? And then jumping into April 11th, the main goal is to have 999 stamina. So how do we get that? One of the first things that you're going to be doing is you're going to be doing three refreshes upon jumping into April 11th. So that pretty much gives you 999 stamina because we had the 630 from before and 360 walking in today, all right? So knowing all of this, we have 999 stamina. Technically, the rest of the stamina that we get for the rest of the day will be going into the presence box, all right? After reset, all right, at 13.05. So a little bit of time has passed. This is just because of the fact that you don't want to instantly claim your stamina because let's say you wake up a little bit late on April 12th and you forget to claim the stamina. You kind of boned yourself in that situation. So the stamina within your presence box will pretty much expire. So you don't want your stamina to expire because you woke up like a minute or two late, right? That's going to break your heart and everything's going to sort of fall apart. 
but let's go ahead and jump right into the information. So player level cap is going to increase from 88 to 93 on April 11th. What you want to do is do a mission, whichever mission that you want to do to increase your level to 89. And then your extra 147 stamina, because you're going to get 147 stamina going from 88 to 89, will go into the presence box. You're going to claim the stamina from April 10th Guildhouse, all right? You're going to claim it. And it's going to go into your presence box. I want to make that very clear. The stamina that's in your guild house is technically 24 hours old. And it's technically from April 10th. All right. And that will go into your presence box. And then you will also leave a like to a clan member. That way you get that 10 stamina going into the presence box. All right. Next thing that you're going to be doing is you're going to be just spending your stamina as much as you need to in order to stay within the limits of having 999 stamina at the end of the day. Do whatever you need to do spending stamina wise so long as you have this number at the end of the day on April 11th, all right? Upon April 12th, everything goes back to normal. Make sure to claim the stamina that you pretty much held off on April 11th, all right? So what this pretty much means, the Guildhouse stamina from April 11th, the stamina for 147 going from 88 to 89, make sure you claim that when you wake up whichever time, 6 a.m. PSD on reset. That way you have the max amount of stamina in order to participate in everything, all right? April 12th is binge mode. Just get all of your stamina. If you did it right, you'll have 1,468 stamina just like upon logging in without doing any refreshes whatsoever. But this is just the max method in order to get everything done. All right. All right. I want to give a huge shout out to Sprout once again for posting this guide. I'll leave links down in the description. And when it comes to refreshing, in case you want to avoid all this complication, I suggest doing three refreshes. Of course, that's definitely doable. If you're a little bit more of a dolphin, then you can do six. And then if you're a bigger dolphin, you want to, you know, be within like the top 100, top 500, whichever, then do 14 refreshes. That is a pretty safe range because you're only expending, what, like 1100 jewels for that day. It's almost a multi, not quite. And of course, anything above 14, that's where you're pretty much going into whale territory. So it's up to you whether you want to go down that route. Let's go ahead and do some PvP and round out today's video. When it comes towards everything and doing all these stamina refreshes, there's no right or wrong way. There's just a way that sort of works for some folks and there's some things that people are suggesting. I wanted to showcase this in case the casual player was just like, hey, you know, I want to participate on clan battle. I want to see what it at least looks like and I want to see if I want to attempt it. And these are sort of like the trials and tribulations that some people go through in order to get everything done right. Because it's not always straightforward or easy to quite understand what is going to be happening with everything because information is always sort of fluctuating. With this like stamina refresh, you know, Google spreadsheet, it's in the to be announced section. It just makes it easier to sort of understand the mindset and you can apply like this stamina-esque like refresh results thing, 999, whatever you want to call it to any situation where there's a new event appearing and you want to have as much stamina as possible when you walk into the event, then you can do all of these methods. This is a very repeatable thing. I'll probably remake this guide in case, you know, clan battle number four is something similar where we get normal quest drops, double, like all these things. That way we can get the max amount of stamina walking into that situation so we can level up as soon as possible. Of course, like ideal way to, was to have like the player level not coincide with like the double drop rates and gear drops and everything like that. If it was done, you know, a little bit better, everything wouldn't have been rushed, right? Because then you can sort of stagger everything and understand, all right, this is like what I need to do here. These are the steps I need to take here. And then everything sort of flows back together. Okay, this is like a magic based team. And I'm not sure if I can take everything down. That's a five star Tom key. Let's go ahead and do it. Let's see where this takes us. I'm not sure about that Reno comp though. That Reno comp is probably going to end me. So if we can't get through here, then I'm pretty much calling it quit and saying like, this is GG, but you win some, you lose some. That's the way it crumbles sometimes, all right? And when it comes to clan battle, we'll talk about like what happened, I think. It's just an opinion. Don't like hunt me down for it. I just want to give more thoughts on it because we are going into the next clan battle. 
And I want to avoid a few things. Also, how is Mitsuki alive right now? Does she have like 1 HP? What the heck is going on? That is very trippy to see where her bar is like that low and she's not dead. Like is this- whoa, what, what's happening? Mitsuki, did you drink a potion that made you undead or something? Someone has to hit her. Tamaki, are you gonna hit like Mitsuki? This is kind of disturbing me that she is still alive. Alright, like this is this is weird to like capture this on camera. These are like those situations where like you never get to see it. Alright, she died. Like I didn't want that to happen, but it was just so weird just to see her stay alive with probably like one HP hanging, you know, by a thread onto her life. Can we take down this Miyako? I'm not entirely sure. We only have 20 seconds left. Running it down the clock, we, we take down the Maho. Do we have any time left? Mind the helicopters, I can't do anything about it. Mimi, can you do some damage? We take out the Tamaki, and no, we're pretty much left here with them. I have no idea. Yeah, there's no way we can take down that Reno comp. That Reno was like a five star, and yeah, that thing's just going to absolutely melt my team. Well, granted, we're not running Mage Melt, so we're a little bit beefier overall. Let's see. All right, that didn't do too much damage, not that terrible. But the point is, is like, can June like handle this? Can Kauri handle this? Like, this is a lot. That that Lima is super thick. Like, oh my goodness, how much damage did she take? All right, Kauri, get some life steal. We took down. Oh, we might. No, no. Okay, come on, Kauri. Kauri, please. Nope. We're we're done here. We're we're done. We can't take this damage. This damage is too much for us. Kokoro hanging in strong. Very last tidbits of it. If you're wondering, I'm going to max upgrade my Kokoro because I don't use her as a buff bot. That's pretty much just the way I roll when it comes to these things, all right? All right, I know this stamina video was possibly confusing. Just note that 999 stamina is the max that you can get. Everything extra goes into your presence box and has a lifespan of 24 hours if it's stamina related from the previous day, all right? And when it comes to everything, consider subscribing if you've made it this far, dropping a like, leaving a comment, follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter. Once we have 17,500 subs, and if you have any questions, you know, drop them in the comments. We'll be doing a giveaway for that subs goal. Thanks so much for watching. Have yourself a fantastic day, and I will see you in the next one.